Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Jill. Lil, we're on a beauty trip. I can't believe it. So do we have a clue? Here's the thing. We don't have a clue. I'm driving. I'm behind the wheel. Figuratively, literally. You kidnapped me then. I'm gonna be the guinea pig today. I'm here today. for moral support. You're, I need all the help I can get. Okay. Plus, I miss you. I my office mate. Literally we don't get to see like, each other as much like anymore. Just booking me so we can hang out. I'm yeah, like, I need yeah, you for yeah. this. Oh, really need to be here. Exactly. Yeah. And I think you're gonna know why I need you when you find out. We're gonna do a fire haircut. That doesn't sound like something I want near my hair. You know, it's like sounds, that sounds smell. Sounds like it smells, yeah. Yeah, the smell of hair on fire makes me very nervous. It's a very alarming smell. It doesn't smell good. No. Okay, I'm like nervous. Valid. Nervous. Valid. Yeah. Okay, I'm yeah. I'm nervous too. I'm nervous. I'm excited. Don't be nervous. You okay, should be, be excited. excited. There's fire involved. There's a little nerve. <laughs> Who well. are in the celebrity stylist hands today? Celeb status. You have two yes. stylists now. We yeah. are Stagioni team and this is our studio in the heart of Hollywood and today we're gonna actually show a lot of unique techniques, service and we're the probably only one who used those techniques in the heart of Hollywood and maybe even in the whole United States. It is something that we do uniquely and we're experts at this. Safety is a priority to us. So you're in good hands here. Promise. I trust Let's, start Let's do it. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so she mentioned the fire haircut in the car and I brought up that I saw a video years ago that's literally someone's like hair getting lit on fire. Is that what you're doing? That was me. It was really you? That video, it, it's a, there's a little trick to it. What happened was I was paid to do that. This company that we use is promoting their bond builder, their curing system. It was taken out of context. What you saw. You were damaging it on purpose I was to fix it. Absolutely. That's what we were trying to do. I guess I just would be worried. Like, how do you know it's not going to just like. That is not a technique that we normally do. Unless. Wonderful news to hear. <laughs> These are our little torches. We're going to use these. Yes, these are a couple of the tools that you'll be hearing. Get familiar, don't get scared. But no. we will use these to cauterize and heal your split ends. And then make creme brulee. Right, there you go. So we're sense. ready to uh, start our procedure and we're going to start to our uh, procedure. procedure. Yeah, we seems medical, but good. <laughs> <laughs> we're washing your hair. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Try to enjoy this part of it. Ah, nice head massage. <laughs> How was that? Is that uh, perfect? Perfect. We could just do that all the whole time. I'm, I'm a little jealous of that. Yeah. What was done was we prepped your hair with the proper ingredients to start this procedure. So that was like special, like a special wash? That yeah, wasn't like a normal one? We had to do a conditioner and yeah. then we had to do a bond builder to make bond sure builder. your hair is fully, you know, keratinized and protected. Okay, so you've got a ton of hair, and what we're doing is we're pre-sectioning your hair, getting the hair in the proper place before we start. We can cut the perimeter with the scissors, right. but we can't get the split ends in between. Right. The only way to get those split ends to pop out are to twist. We are about to start first. We have to really wet our hair really, really good because do not cut your hair with the fire on the dry hair. That does seem like a key takeaway from this. And we're using some also leave-in conditioner because your hair is really dry and I feel like it's already absorbed a lot of moisture. And that's how your hair is gonna look in the end. Really silky, really shiny, really moisture. Perfect. Ready? Do we need a yeah. fire extinguisher on hand? Yeah, we have one. We have one. <laughs> <laughs> Good. What the? Now you wanna see the close-ups because you're gonna see a lot of sparkles. Oh my goodness! That's her dead ends. So, are only they burning because they're dead? Like, why is it just the ends that will... Because they're the only ones that are popping up, that's why yes. this is part of it, the important part of this technique. Yeah. So it's just everything not... else, like when it's together, it's yeah. so moist and that it can't so get... Right. Okay, so 
so that's part one, which was more interior. We're going to do a second fire haircut. It's a different technique. It's kind of like an overall cleansing of the area. Okay, you want me to explain? Yeah. Cleanse it up. So the second technique, what we're gonna use on you right now, it's called a pyrophores, which means in Latin, more uh, cure hair. And this technique actually more uh, spiritual, you know why? Because we have uh, all the chakras in our body, if you're familiar with that, and our top chakra is right here. So, and when I'm cleansing that and working with the fire, so it kind of like a cleansing your aura. Is that why it feels so good when people like... <laughs> yeah, you know, some people actually after that technique, when I ask them how they feel after that service, they said like, I feel like relief, relaxed. So good. Yes. I can do <laughs> While I'm gonna do in that technique, I'm gonna be your spiritual guide, okay? And in that moment, I prefer not to talk. Okay. And you not to talk also. All I want you just, you know, relax and think about something good. I don't know, concentrate on yourself, anything Perfect. like that, so. It's prepping the forcep with a little bit of cotton and... Did you just use the word forcep? Feels very surgical. And what are we dipping it in? The special sauce. It doesn't look like the special <laughs> sauce I'm familiar with. This is the ASMR part of the episode. They start to get crazy, get uh, an extinguisher. I see it. I've it's never used one nice. before, but... work with different sources today. We work with the water, we work with the fire, which is cleansing effect, and we work with the human energy as well. What we're going to do now is dry your hair with regular blow dryers, no fire blow dryers. This is my delicate huge blow torch. <laughs> and then uh, we'll finish off with one last technique. Yeah, it's called hot scissors haircut. Mm -hmm. and is there electric? It is electric. So the first hot scissors, what I had in my salon, is actually look like little tray with the big computer and I have to walk around class <laughs> with that tray. It was so uncomfortable. This is the new generation. I just bought them. They look so cool, so nice. They look fancy. So how they work, this is the metal plate, as you see, and this is the electric cord. So I pick the temperature over here. If it's really thick and coarse, here, so I have to uh, get more temperature. This one is about 150 Celsius. I don't know how much is the Fahrenheit, but it's... We'll put that on. I was like, straight. I don't either. I think it's like a 300 something so very high. Oh, yeah, yeah like yes. it does it. Just so you know, there's a, a legend about Cleopatra. She cut her hair with the hot blades. That's, well, I've that, seen that the knife the haircuts Ooh, online too, exactly. so... I, it's a lot of science uh, behind that, and they finally, uh, you know, create this hot scissors. Thank you. If it's good enough for Cleopatra, it's good enough for me. Oh, so you want to go back to using hot blades? Because we can do that. <laughs> the electric version does seem preferable. What parts of the world is this really popular? Uh, mostly Europe, and just so you know, I have a clients who search in Google hot scissors haircut, and that's how they find me over here. That makes sense, because if they're from somewhere else and they're yeah. used to getting their haircut this way, they need to find who does from it. From Germany, from Switzerland, from Italy. Also, I noticed you have a big wall of fame back there. Oh, Jill, there's someone you're really obsessed with on there. <laughs> who? Chris who Harrison. Are? Oh, I love anything Bachelor. <laughs> Obsessed with it. Yes. I've been working and I'm Chris Harrison's personal for like over 10 years now. What? Yeah. You're one degree of separation. <gasps> so, just I have- over here last week. We're half done. It looks really good. But you can already see the difference? You can. Oh, yeah. Yes. Go. Whoa. There you go. There 
it looks the final result. So what do you think? Okay, right? I haven't like fully seen it yet, but I have felt it, and it feels just like amazing. Oh wow! Yes. yes. My oh, hair is wow. always so heavy; it just feels so like light and like bouncy. It really does. Yeah, it looks, it so looks really good. Yeah, and that was just one procedure. If you come back again, I promise it'll be even healthier and shinier. The growth will be quicker. The hair will feel mm -hmm. nicer, and then you'll have more boyfriends. I might good. need to do this then. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, we're catching your head on fire. Sure. <laughs>why more people don't do it if it is making the split ends last. The science like, seems to be behind it. It's making it. the like cutting the split ends last longer. I'm a big fan. I thought it was very cool. I think that they have you sort of like meditate during that middle part like on purpose because that's when the biggest flames are around. Because so they're people like, would be a little alarmed at um, right forceps. There. I think that's it for today's episode. Now it's time to eat. I hope you guys like the video. Make sure to like it, comment, and subscribe. Yeah. See you on the next Beauty Trippin'. Bye. Oh, clever stuff. We have so much fun here. Especially when Jocelyn is doing stuff. This was a great video, but you know what else is a great video? The one that's right here, whatever it might be. She's probably torturing me in it. <laughs> also subscribe. That'd be nice.